If you'd like to direct your attention to the International Guernsey Ring, Judge Harbaugh has completed his placings on the H. Cow class. And again, we'd ask our juniors to take a step forward. Our second place junior is entry number 1421, Misty Meadows Neon Libby, exhibited by Jacqueline Peterson of Wilson, Wisconsin. In the open show, third place goes to entry 1419, Whirlwind Acres Bingo Eileen, exhibited by Arlen Fritchie of New Ulm, Minnesota. In second place, also the winning junior, is entry 1417, Loyal Acres Lewis Breezy, exhibited by Austin and Landon Knapp of Epworth, Iowa. And winning the class, also receiving the production award, Bread Owned and Best Utter, is entry 1420, Four Winds Destiny Love, exhibited by Clark and Joy Vilter of Heartland, Wisconsin. At three months and nine, three years and nine months, 305 days, Destiny Love produced 24,482 pounds of milk, 943 of fat with 731 of protein. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his reasons. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just a beautiful class of aged cows here. And that being said, quite a handy winner in the class, a cow that just excels the class in length of frame, dairiness, singularity, and openness to her rib structure. And she is the best uttered cow in the class. She has that advantage over our cow in second and showing us so much more height, more turn, more fullness right at the top of the rear udder. Our cow in second, a cow that's just fresh a couple weeks here and just missed the five-year-old class, a cow that's really admirable for her length of frame, her height the chine, her long, snugly attached, four udder attachment. But today, just not that overall openness and bloom of udder that we have in our cow that wins the class. And this cow uses her advantage in stature, length of frame, hardness of top, and snugness of four udder attachment to go over a beautiful silky dairy cow coming along here in third. Third cow, not the biggest cow in the class, but a cow with a lot of quality. You really have to admire her angularity, her openness to her rib structure, and a cow that has a high wide rear udder attachment. And it's the advantage she has today in levelness through the floor of her udder that takes her over the cow coming along here in fourth. Our fourth place cow, the oldest cow in the class, she's had five calves and we're giving her that advantage today over the cow following along in fifth. Just a little more uh, udder texture today, just a little more tone to her udder. A cow that shows us more dairiness and more angularity today than our cow that ends the class. Congratulations.